Hey guys, so over the past weekend we've gotten some really great news. A few features we thought that had been neglected is finally making its way back into the spotlight. These features here are specific to the full self-driving package which is available in your Tesla app and regardless of wherever you live in the world, as long as you subscribe or purchase it outright, you will be getting these features. Now we did discuss this in my previous video, how this is based on the V12 architecture, and we are currently running a very limited version of V12 as long as you dip below seven miles per hour. What you can currently see on your screen as soon as you hit that speed marker is the high fidelity park assist system. Once the system does get activated, it will map out the scene around the car and you will be able to see everything in really high detail. Things such as road markings, curbs, and even trees are going to be displayed on the visualization, but most importantly, it will be able to detect obstacles all around you, even though they are moving and with very high accuracy. I would say that the coolest thing about the system is it's able to detect things hovering above it. So if you're going into smaller parkades, for example, it will be able to detect the height restriction bars. There is so much potential in this system that the team is working on the second iteration of it and likely that's going to blow our minds once again. All right, so now all of this has to tie in with the technically new feature that Tesla has applied patent for over over the past few days. The published patent in question here is titled Adjustment of Vehicle Direction Based on Environment. All of this sounds very similar to what we currently have on all models with the exception of the Model Ys. The car is practically able to shift itself going forward or backward depending on what it sees with its cameras. But honestly, as it currently sits, this cannot be 100% relied on as it still makes those simple mistakes. But given that this is Tesla's first go at it, I would say that this is actually okay. According to this new patent adjustment of vehicle direction, it will now be able to pull out of parallel parking spots and into the road without any hesitations. As of right now, with how smart shift works, you do have to be in a parking spot with a car or an object behind you or in front of you, and it will able to shift in the opposite direction. What's neat about this patent that Tesla has applied for is that the car is now able to detect moving objects while it's doing its shifting, meaning that if it does detect another car in its path, it will shift into the opposite direction or decide to hold. Of course, there is a list of mandatory checks that it is going to go through before it even activates the system. And if you don't have your seatbelt on, for example, it will just not work. So all of this is a really great indication that Auto Park and Smart Summit is coming very soon. And eventually you'll be able to just simply get out of the car, have it drive around, find a parking spot, park, and eventually drive back to pick you up. Now I know there's going to be a lot of you guys that say you already have Auto Park and Smart Summon activated on your Teslas right now. This is really nothing like that. This is a complete re-architecture of the entire system. It means that you're going to be getting some of the best features purely from vision. The ultimate goal here is that you'll be able to eventually summon your car from coast to coast without having doing anything. So yeah, for the rest of us that have just recently gotten our car, we have been waiting for a very long time for these features to be activated. It may seem like we have been waiting forever, especially for those that have purchased the enhanced autopilot or the full self-driving package, but the time is very near and it's really great to see that Tesla is now actively working on these systems. This year is going to be the year that everything changes with V12, with all the latest smart features to arrive, and with tons more coming out. There is, however, one little feature that you may have been requesting for the longest time, which is going to be coming very soon. I will be talking about that in the next video so stay tuned for that and if you guys haven't already subscribed hit that subscribe and that bell notification don't forget to follow me on x at hey john e over there you guys can dm me and chat with me anytime and i'll try to respond as quickly as possible and if you guys want to support this channel i will have a patreon link in the description below anyways this should be it for this one i hope you guys enjoyed it this is john once again peace out